Uh, all in all, that was an interesting experience because there we had uh, an all-black training uh, operation to produce fighter pilots and bomber deer bomber pilots and crews uh, at this one place in the country. Now, the, the, the Air Force, the Army Air Corps was segregated at the time, so these fellows couldn't get training anywhere else. In fact, there was an attitude that they shouldn't be trained at all because they felt that uh, blacks couldn't make good pilots, they wouldn't be able to operate the machinery, it was too complicated for them and so forth. And there was a lot of agitation in the black community about this. And so uh, I think Eleanor Roosevelt was one who interceded on their behalf. She made a trip to Tuskegee. I'm not sure for what reason. But she had an opportunity to fly with one of the instructors who was teaching in the civilian air patrol program, a gentleman named Anderson. And he took her up for a flight. And he, he performed so superbly that she said, well, I, I have no, no doubt that these fellows could make And he was pilots. black. He was black, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He was black. So I have no doubt that these fellows could make good pilots. And I suppose she relayed this information to her husband. And so out of that, the Tuskegee idea was born. Uh, and the Tuskegee experience was quite an experience because if you look back now after it was all over, they are highlighted in the Smithsonian. If you go up to the Smithsonian Museum, you'll see a whole wall panel of the Tuskegee uh, group that hold business. And then there have been quite a few uh, TV specials devoted to the Tuskegee Airmen. And a lot of those fellows, uh, most of those fellows who were pilots and in, the, in that training came from very good families in the black community. They were well trained and uh, college men. And some of them have gone on to make quite a few great names for themselves. For example, Mayor Coleman Young in Chicago was a pilot in that group. And I can think of other very prominent people around the country uh, who came out of that Tuskegee experience. But uh, so it was, it, it was a bonding experience because those of us who were in, in, involved with it, you know, we, we had to bond, to bond together uh, and really excel at what we were doing. The Tuskegee group first went to North Africa as the 99th Pursuit Squadron. And they did fairly well. They were using P-40 aircraft. But then when they sent over the 332nd fighter group, uh, which was three squadrons, they finally got uh, P-51s. And they had the insignia of red tails. And uh, in addition to their other duties, they would escort bomber flights up over Italy and up into Austria and over southern Germany. And the, the, the great thing that came out of that was that any time a bomber crew saw the red tail, they felt safe because that group had the, un, they had the uh, outstanding reputation of never losing a single bomber.